So every day, your T cells go around to every single cell in your body and they ask a very simple and profound, beautiful question. They ask, are you me or are you not me? And every day, your cells reach inside themselves and they grab an identification card, a little snippet of whatever they are, and they bring it to their surface and in sort of a biochemical handshake with the T cell, they say, hey, I'm you, please don't kill me. And if they're telling the truth, then your T cells allow them to live. But if they're lying, if they're infected, or if they're deranged by cancer, then your T cell murders that cell on the spot. No questions asked, right? And that's amazing and wonderful because it prevents you from getting infections. It prevents you from getting cancer. But for more than 100,000 people who are on the waiting list for an organ transplant who are dying of end-stage organ failure, T cells are bad news. Because let's say I'm, I have end-stage kidney disease and I need a kidney, and let's say Dean Tedesco has volunteered to be an altruistic donor, and she gives me her beautiful, pristine, well-treated kidney, and I am now able to go back to a normal life. My T-cell comes around and asks that simple question of every single cell. It says, are you me or are you not me? And it stumbles across this beautiful, pristine kidney, and it asks this question, and the, the kidney starts to answer and say, hey, actually, uh, my name's Dean Tedesco, and before it can even answer, it's dead, right? The T-cell murders it and murders all its friends, all of Dean Tedesco's kidney cells. What a waste. This is heartbreaking, right, for, especially for an organ transplant recipient. So what do we do? Well, I can tell you what we used to do was give people broad, toxic immunosuppression drugs that go to every single cell in your body and shut things down. Now, when the alternative is death, living for a little bit of time with that toxic immunosuppression is fine. Over the last 20 years, our lab has discovered that T cells have two signals on them, a bunch of different signals, but a set of signals that are co-stimulators that get your T cells riled up and ready to kill, and a set of uh, markers on your T cell that are co-inhibitors things that uh, tell the T-cell to chill out, quiesce, ignore the organ inside you. And so what we've been able to do is leverage this T-cell expression and block co-stimulators and augment co-inhibitors and progressively allow for us to control rejection in a targeted fashion. So these drugs don't go all over the place. They specifically block T-cells from getting activated. And my project has been to understand this in the context of infection and in the context of your particular immune experience and your particular injuries. And by doing that, by understanding the exact constellation of those things, we're able to target for you personally uh, a perfect transplant immunosuppression regimen. And people live longer and they're happier and healthier.